Number 17 then, the last question in paper one of the 2019 higher maths, five marks. It might look kind of awkward with its trigonometry and its integrations and there'll be identities in this strange expression. It's actually a very short question. For three marks, you have to write this in this form. So you just do whatever needs to be done to that to make it look like this. Now, there's no squares here, so multiply out the brackets. So that'll be square the first, square the last. Oh, that be two is escaping, it should be over the cos. And in the middle, that'll be minus twice the product. So that's two times the sine x times the cos x. And that's your answer immediately. But I'll just show it by bringing the parts together. If you bring the cos squared x over to join the sine squared x and put them in a little pair of aesthetic brackets, and then you've got minus the two sine x cos x, these are two expressions you should recognise. Sine squared and cos squared equals one for anything, and two sine x cos x, that's the expansion of sine 2x. Now, I don't know if that's sufficient just to have it like that, or whether you then are meant to say what P, Q and R are. Well, P would be 1, Q would be negative 1, and R would be 2, if that's what they wanted. But I'm not sure if they did. But then I'm just playing safe. And part B finally says, hence, do this integration then, which involved that. Because you wouldn't have been able to do that in the first place without doing this. Because yes, you've got the square of a bracket, but the interior of it isn't a linear expression. And you don't know how to deal with ones that aren't a linear expression. So what you're going to do instead is change that, expand it and fiddle about until you get this. And that's something you can integrate, because that's a simple little term. 1 goes back up to x, and sine goes back to negative cos. I could put the plus, maybe I'll just show that. It goes back to negative cos of whatever it's acting on, which of course is a 2x. But divided by the interior, because this part's a valid function of a function, because it's a function of a linear function, divided by the interior derivative, which is just a number, that's the important thing, it has to be just a number, is just 2, so all over 2, I know it looks a bit messy, and don't forget plus c, but I'm going to tidy it up now. So I've got x, and that'll be plus a half cos 2x plus c.